Now let's see how to make this smooth reverse effect inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So first import your clip to the timeline. And here I'm using this clip. And it's 120 fus. Now increase the height of this track. Then right click on the little fus text. Time remapping and select speed. So you can see a new speed remapping line. And if you drag it down, the speed of your clip will slow down. And if you drag it up, your clip speed will be faster. Now click Ctrl plus Z and move to the original speed. Then find the frame where you want to make this reverse effect. Now hold on Ctrl key and click on this speed line. For the right part, drag this line down and make it 1%. Now select the middle line and drag it to the left side. Now let's see the preview. The playback speed slowly goes down 100 to 0. Okay, now move the time indicator last part of the marker, and if we click on W, it will delete the right part of the time indicator. Then right-click on this clip and select Speed and Duration. In the Time Interpolation, select Optical Flow, and click OK. Now we need to duplicate this clip, so hold on Alt button, and drag this clip to the right side. Again right-click on this duplicated clip, and select Speed and Duration. Then enable Reverse Speed and click on OK. Now just drag this clip like this, and let's see the preview. As we can see the playback is not smooth, so we need to render it to see a better preview. Now move the time indicator to the left marker, and click I to make the endpoint. Then move the time indicator to the right marker, and click O to make an out point. Now go to sequence and select render and do out. As we can see it's rendering, so wait a few moments and see the final preview. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.